Deuce Pond Fish and Wildlife Area is about 8,900 acres of a mix of wetlands and grasslands. Uh, the property is mostly under a wetlands reserve program easement and the rest of the property is, is either wooded or being farmed. For lots of species, I mean, it has just blown state record numbers out of the water and um, has been successful with marsh birds and uh, quite successful with shorebirds and very successful with waterfowl and uh, uh, it's, it's just, just made a huge difference. And you got to remember that everything we're looking at was corn and soybean fields. It's, uh, it's a huge dramatic difference. Uh, the bird response to the restoration has been, you know, off the charts. Uh, no one expected, we thought, you know, we, we expected good things and we thought it'd be really cool and it's always good to restore wetlands, but uh, the bird response has far and away exceeded everybody's, anybody's expectations and it's just been remarkable to watch. You hear that sandhill crane? Whooping cranes found the, uh, the property right away, and um, the big surprise is, you know, they were all taught to go to Florida um, uh, and, uh, by the ultralights, but then they're on their own on the way back and, and ever after, and they've been increasingly moving north so that now an entire quarter of the population is wintering up here. We've got a new building that just uh, was constructed this year. It's going to be the Southwest Regional Office and Visitor Center. The building has a lot of really cutting edge technology incorporated. I think some of the uh, principles the building was, was built on was to uh, kind of set a good example for what we look for in our buildings. It's got glass that has special features that uh, are more protective for birds. It, it, they're less likely to have impacts on the building. It, it will revolutionize birding here and will revolutionize how people understand the property because you can see things. The sand hills that are all in the, in the west and north end of Goose Pond go out really low right over that hill. I mean, we've had way over 10,000 birds just going out to forage in the morning flying real low right over the visitor center hill. The property has something for every season. If you come in the early spring there's going to be thousands of sandhill cranes and, and different types of ducks and geese. Summer and fall bring a lot of different birds. During the summer there's wading birds like egrets and herons. In the fall we start getting more shore birds and blueing teal, tons of dabbling ducks, and then over winter you get all the, the full spectrum of waterfowl that comes through.